Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making quiche. So as you can see here, there's a beautiful quiche with cheese, onion and tomatoes. We're going to start by making our own short crust pastry. If you don't want to do it this way, short one is fine. But if you want to be adventurous and try doing it yourself, it is very, very simple. And here's how you do it. 250 grams of plain flour and we put that into our bowl you don't need to sieve it the standard rule is half fat to flour 125 grams of butter you want to chop the butter up into smaller pieces ready to go into the flour you can do this inside the flour if you wanted to because you've got to rub these bits of butter in amongst the flour so it's just easier if you cut it up into smaller pieces. Now make sure that this butter is being kept in the fridge so it's nice and cold. And make sure your hands are nice and cold. So once you have your butter that's chopped up a bit smaller, add it into the flour and cover the butter with the flour. And then what you want to do is pick it up and with your fingers, not in your palms, do the thumbs going away from your body and you're going to squeeze the butter as you're doing that action and so you're squeezing the butter into the flour and you're going to make those lumps smaller and smaller eventually they'll be like little crumbs so it'll look like a crumble now you can do this with a food processor but i'm showing you this way just in case you don't have a food processor and you can see how you're doing with this because if you shake the bowl, you can see like any big lumpy bits of butter will come to the surface. So you can see that nice crumbly texture. What we want to do is add some water. Some people put milk in. Some people might put an egg in. I do it the old fashioned way, the simple way and just add a bit of water. Right, what you want to do is not add too much water. Add a little tiny bit at a time. Now in this cup, I've got 75 mils. That's a rough estimate of how much you might need. And just give this a little mix around. So you kind of spread in the water throughout the mixture. Add another little bit. Now hopefully that's enough. better that you have too little than too much so that's why you add little tiny bits at a time but it should be roughly about the 75 mil so what you'll find now is if you get your hands in there and you bring it together it should form this kind of nice mixture but you can see this is still quite dry it kind of comes apart so that means it needs just a tiny bit more water And bring your mixture, see if you can start binding it together. Now it should start picking up the rest of the mixture if there's enough water in there. It's picking up some of it. So I'll put a tiny bit more water in here. See, it can take more than the 75 mil, but I kind of tend to start with that at first because you can always add to it. You can't take it away. So as you can see, you push down onto this and it's picking up the rest of the, the mixture, sticking to it quite nicely. So you don't want it too wet, but you don't want it too dry either. It should just all stick nicely together. Then what you do is you get some cling film if you haven't got cling film, wrap it in a plastic bag. But cling film is better. And you want to keep this in the fridge, preferably overnight, but even half an hour would be good. And then it'll be ready to roll for your quiche. If you've left this in overnight, make sure 
that you take it out for a few hours um, before you start trying to roll it because otherwise it could be a bit hard. So this one's just nice for rolling. So we'll sprinkle some um, flour on your worktop. Sprinkle a little bit of flour on your pastry and a bit on your rolling pin. Just gently roll out the pastry. And you want your pastry to be bigger than your dish that you're putting it into. You want to allow for the enough pastry to be coming up to the sides as well, so it needs to be that little bit bigger still. So as you can see, that's given us plenty to come over so we'll put that in. So what you want to do is put your rolling pin on top of your pastry, bring your pastry up, bring it to roll it towards you. This isn't this isn't the best rolling pin because the handles move. And you want to place it over your dish and gently lift and push down. So if you lift and it allows that movement, otherwise you might put a hole in it. If you do put a hole in it, don't worry. You can always get a bit of the pastry on the outside, the excess, and just patch it up. It's not the end of the world. So make sure you get right into the sides. Just pushing your finger like that. Okay, then you want to cut off the excess. And what you want to do is because it might shrink, is you want the pastry to be cut on the outside of the dish here, not on the inside, on the outside. So you get a knife. I use a, a sharp knife rather than a, a normal dinner knife. And just lift your tray up and working away from you, cut the pastry. Just turn the dish around. So as you can see, even though I'm going on the outside, that wasn't pushed down properly. So I've cut a bit short there. But anyway, go on the outside. See, we all make mistakes. <laughs> it's perfectly okay. And you can always reuse this pastry. Just put some cling film on it to keep it fresh. So as you can see, I did a better job with the second half because I pushed it down again. I didn't quite push that down enough. So when I cut, it kind of went back in. But at least by me doing this mistake, you can see where you could improve. So that's the ideal. Right, now we're going to chop an onion because I'm first going to show you how to do a cheese and onion quiche. So we want to do diced onions. So you want about 10 grams of butter and melt it in a frying pan and about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now once your butter has melted, you place your onions in. So just cook them on a nice low heat until they're nice and soft. Right, while the onions are cooking, we're just going to grate some cheese. You want about 150 to 160 grams of cheese. So these onions are lovely and soft now. Give them a good 10 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes. And what you want to do is just place the onions into your quiche on top of your pastry. Then what you want to do is add your cheese, just sprinkle it around so you get it as even as you possibly can. 
So we'll just put that to one side for a minute. So we want three eggs. Give them a whisk. Should, these are very small eggs, so I'm actually going to put four in. Three good large eggs is fine. And we want to season this with a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And optional, a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, so to the egg mixture, we're going to add 100 ml of milk. And then we're going to add 100 ml of cream. You don't have to use cream, you can use milk only if you wanted to. And you simply pour over the cheese. If you wanted to, you could add some tomato. In fact, what I'll do just to show you is I will do half this quiche with tomato on it. Okay, so you're just going to do a few slices of tomato and just place them on the top. And then just push them down with a fork. Right, so once we've let it cool down, about five or ten minutes. So we'll just put the plate over it. Tip it upside down. Dish will come off. Then you get another plate, tip it upside down again, and there you have your quiche. So you can see here, there's a nice slice of the tomato. And here is a nice slice of the cheese and onion one. So please like the video and subscribe so you can see more videos on how to make other types of quiches and lots of other nice recipes. And I would love to hear your comments on how you enjoyed your quiche.